Ready. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Premier has six business days left to use the $246 million surplus for the good of the people working in our health care system, for the good of the people working in our long-term care system. This is the opportunity to let our nurses and other health care workers and long-term care workers that we value them. Now is the time to provide each and every one of them with a retention bonus. Nova Scotia did it. Prince Edward Island did it. To compete with Nova Scotia would mean for our nurses in New Brunswick a $100 million investment from this surplus. The money is there for six more days, Mr. Speaker. Six more days. The other, another $100 million could be used to support uh, retention bonuses for other health care workers and long-term care health workers. Long-term care workers, Mr. <coughs> Speaker. This would leave $46 million to put against the debt. Will the Premier commit to providing retention bonuses to our nurses and allied care workers from this surplus in the next six business days? The Honourable Premier. So, Mr. Speaker, I think it's evident in this budget that we have put major investments in, the, in three main categories, in all categories really, but three main categories in terms of health, education and social development. And Mr. Speaker, what this means is we're looking to find new people coming in, we're looking to find better working distance for existing people, and Mr. Speaker, we want people to have a workplace balance that they really like and they really want to stay. So to, to, to the leader of the Green Party, we think, Mr. Speaker, that the answer is how do we cause people to stay here longer? It's to have the right working environment for them to be in, to pay competitive salaries, Mr. Speaker, that compete with other, with other provinces, Mr. Speaker, particularly in Atlantic Canada. And we're going through those negotiations right now. But, Mr. Speaker, we have to find ways that people value their job because they're valued in it. And we believe in, in those people, and we want to show that value. But, Mr. Speaker, the, the leader of the Green Party's solution is always just put money wherever, because it doesn't matter, just put it out there, because you, you might have some in, in the, uh, to pay off the debt. Mr. Speaker, time, time. the member for Predator South and leader of his party. Mr. Speaker, given the loss of nurses from our hospitals and the loss of personal service workers from our nursing homes, you would think the provincial budget would contain a budget for retention bonuses. But what does the budget say? $1.5 million for recruitment and exactly nothing for retention. Nothing. The budget ignores the problems we face. The minister talks and the Premier talks about an increase in the health budget and the money they've spent, but it's not getting the kind of results that we need. And this Premier is supposed to be about results. He's not getting them. It's as if the Premier is on automatic pilot. We need to care more about our care sector when he seems to care less. He doesn't even, as I said, need to dip into next year's budget to fund retention bonuses. He could fund them from this year's uh, surplus. There's six business days left where he can make that decision. So I'll ask him again, why will the Premier not use the surplus to provide retention bonuses to our nurses and other health care workers? The Minister of Health. Well, Mr. Speaker, again, when it comes to uh, competitive salary benefits and a place to work, Horizon Vitality uh, are, are certainly uh, organizations that have done a very, very good job re recruitment and retention. And, Mr. Speaker, the numbers show it. Like, member opposite can look in the uh, annual report, but I've just got some numbers I want to uh, look at here from Horizon, uh, recruited and onboarded since April 1, 23. 609 registered nurses, 282 licensed practical nurses, 634 personal care attendants. Horizon has hired 168 internationally educa educated nurses since April 1, 23. Recruited 129 net new physicians. So, Mr. Speaker, they have a, an improved culture and engagement driven by staff, and that is helping with retention and attendance. So, again, working together is making the results. Contrary to what the member of the Green Party is saying, Mr. Speaker, we have a competitive environment. Thank you, Minister. Member for Southampton South and leader of the party. Monsieur le Président, les infirmières, les infirmières praticiens, les infirmières auxiliaires et les autres membres du personnel de santé quittent le système pour des horizons plus verdoriens parce qu'ils ne sont pas respectés et qu'ils sont épuisés à cause de la mauvaise, la mauvaise gestion chronique de notre système de santé. Celui-ci est en train de s'effondrer sur lui-même. De bonnes personnes qui suivaient leur vocation, qui aimaient le travail et qui avaient à corps de service en vont. Monsieur le Président, 
pourquoi le premier ministre n'a-t-il pas veillé à ce que ce budget prévoit des primes de maintien en poste pour les personnes qui sont l'âme du système continu à y travailler ici au Nouveau-Brunswick? The Honourable the Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I think the Minister of Health was very clear on the results uh, that he's achieving with new recruits into the system, a net increase in nurses. And so, um, the, the leader of the Green Party, I'm fully in agreement. Results matter. And, Mr. Speaker, we are getting results. So I think the point is, let's look at that. Let's look at where we're putting money in addition into a better workplace so that the people are getting tired because they're working multiple shifts. That has reduced dramatically, Mr. Speaker. Vacations now are being a, a way of life, not, a, not something that was cherished before that they couldn't achieve. So, and that, all that, the travel nurses played a role in all that, Mr. Speaker, as well. And we'll deal with that. But I think we ought to go back into the, the primary care access, Mr. Speaker. We have a, a My Health app, second to none in the country, Mr. Speaker, and sharing with my colleagues in Atlantic Canada, they said, well, look at this. And, and who did that? Well, Mr. Speaker, we're doing it right here in New Brunswick, with New Brunswick companies, Mr. Speaker. So the whole access of primary care, the next thing is navigation through the system, Mr. Speaker. We're already booking x-rays, blood tests. We'll keep moving in a way Thank you. better access.